is up everyone in the Ripple and XRP community? Good evening. Happy Sunday night, December 19th, just a couple of days away from Christmas. I still got a Christmas gift shop. I don't know if Amazon's going to be able to make it to the house in time. I might have to go out to the store, the old fashioned store, folks. Remember those days you walked into the store, you picked out what you wanted, you checked out. It seems like it's been forever, but I'll figure it out. I don't have that big of a family, so gifts are going to be easy peasy this year. I just love when people ask me, what do you want for Christmas? I don't need anything. What do I need? Actually, I want crypto. If you're going to give me a crypto gift or a Christmas gift, I want crypto. That's all I want. Crypto is where I am. Listen, I'm a degenerate. I'll be honest. It comes to crypto, passive income, XRP, HBAR, all these staking coins, different nodes, the amount of money that I make per day from running these things and staking these coins is just phenomenal. And once you start getting all these different paychecks coming in from all these different companies, you really enter a space of, I don't even know how to describe it, just pure joy because you're finally putting your money to work. Leaving your money in your bank account, what is that really doing for you? 0.05%, come on. What are you getting? A couple of cents a month? Get into these staking projects. I get into these nodes. You start adding them up. You get into 5, 10, 15, 20 different projects. You start calculating how much you're making per day, <clears throat> per week, per month. It is absolute insanity, folks. And just imagine how much more you'll be making when the market actually starts to shoot back up. Right now, we're in a downward spiral. Some of these projects... Listen, some of these projects, I had people I've spoken to, you know, we got into them when the token was up 50% higher from here. But the fact that we're earning 80,000%, 40,000% in APY, it makes up that difference. So therefore, when this token does take back off, when the whole market takes back off, we are so well positioned. It is just absolute insanity. So if you're not in the passive income, if you're not into nodes, staking, DeFi in general, you really need to look into that. I look into DeFi every single moment of the day when I'm not doing my XRP research. It is a truly, truly addicting. And that, my friends, is why the Patreon group does exist. So check it out. But seriously, we have a lot to go over. I have about 15 tabs open. We're going to rattle out through this news. I got the football game going in the background. Saints, Bucks. Got a bottle of water next to me. Throws a little bit sore, but we need to see what's up. Because if we look at live coin watch, we're seeing XRP in a little a little heater, folks. It's about to break 90 cents, up almost 7%. And up now over 7% in the last 24 hours, up over 3% in the last hour. Total Bitcoin dominance, guess what? 39.36%. It's still in that magical range, but it looks like it is heading downward here, folks. Bitcoin sitting at 46,684. XRP is about to be 90 cents. I want to move over to Fiat League. Who remembers this site? They're a little behind. But look at all that. <clears throat> Almost over 4 million XRP has been traded in the past minute. Look at this. You see Japan, the US, the US and London lighting up like a Christmas tree right now. Something's going on. Usually when something happens late at night like this, it carries into the morning for the U.S. folk. It's all I'm saying. My eyes are on this bad boy. And then Weller put this out, a dormant address containing 235 Bitcoin. That's over $11 million. Has just been activated after nine years. Nine years, folks. Why is this wallet all of a sudden coming to life? 11 million dollars in bitcoin i don't know what they're going to do with that money i hope they take all 11 million dollars of that bitcoin and they start buying xrp that's all i know now listen i covered this earlier extra pay and xrp how they're going to revolutionize central banks well i'm going to go over it again you want to know why because i'm going to show you a slide a very important slide from david schwartz so this just a quick recap recap here extra pay said that they're using the interledger protocol they're using like a a version of it, but with their own twist on it, right? On the Interledger protocol. When they're talking about central banks and moving money and how quick it is and chips and all that lovely stuff. I mean, everything, everything freaking ties back to XRP, let's be honest. But what do we see here? Who's on the upper right-hand corner? That's the one and only Joel Katz. What is he doing? <clears throat> He's talking about a, a presentation from the Interledger project. And what is the Interledger project talking about here? 
banks, central banks, payment companies, tech giants, consulting companies, and blockchain companies. Very interesting because Extra Pay is using the Interledger protocol for central banks. Yes, don't you don't I gotta tell you guys twice. You're a smart bunch. You are gonna put all this together just like I did. Now we move over to this from T. Hole Bennett. He says early. In 2018, MoneyGram became the first global money transfer provider to declare that it would be testing Ripple's blockchain technology. Western Union quickly followed suit. Suspicious link in the article, but see more information below. Sounds accurate. He goes on to say, Day, as in Western Union, launched a partnership between Singapore-based Instagram, which is a Ripple partner, folks, and Brazil-based BTEC, another Ripple partner, in May 2018 to speed up and lower the cost of money transfers between South America and Asia Pacific. After both firms implemented Ripple's blockchain technology, this partnership was feasible. Here's the article. It says right down here, Early in 2018, MoneyGram became the first global money transfer provider to declare that it will be testing Ripple's blockchain tech. Western Union quickly followed suit. Why? Because MoneyGram was starting to chip away at Western Union. It says, they, talking about Western Union, launched a partnership between Singapore-based Instagram and Brazil-based BTEC. So, you know where this is going, don't you? You know what happens when this lawsuit ends. MoneyGram already got Ripple and implemented. They had to turn the switch off. They're going to turn that switch back on. They're going to tap into on-demand liquidity. The software is already there. The tech is already there, folks. They just had to stop using it because the SEC came knocking on old Ripple's door just about this time last year. That's how far we are into this lawsuit. Western Union, what do you think they're going to do? MoneyGram makes the first move. Western Union's going to follow them because if Western Union doesn't follow, Western Union will be going bye bye. Then XRP Crypto will put this out. Bid True will support the one billion dollar solo airdrop to XRP holders. There you go. You got XRP or Solo on Bid True. They will be supporting the airdrop. You know the snapshot is in five days. It's on Christmas Eve, the twenty fourth of December. You need to have a trust line set up in your Sun Wallet, your Ledger, or have your XRP on Bitru to be able to get qualified for this. The actual drop will take place in January. The snapshot is the 24th of December. We are getting 0.013% for the amount of XRP and or I believe the solo is a little bit higher, but it's pretty close to the same ratio. Last time I checked, the current price of solo was above $5. Then... Johnny Deaton puts this out from a significant Ripple critic. We're talking about Masari Crypto, the same Masari Crypto who has been hating on Ripple and XRP for the past four years, as long as I've been in this report. Well, guess whose side that Masari is finally on? As you would have guessed, Ripple, as they put out their report, and I'll show it to you right here. And we scroll down, and they have a whole section in section 11 dedicated to the Ripple versus SEC versus Safe Harbors. They actually believe that what the SEC is doing in general to the crypto space is absolutely ludicrous and highly, highly irresponsible. I must say, I think they finally got something right. And I remember this tweet from Craig DeWitt telling you that he became the vice chair for the U.S. FASTA Payments Council. People kind of shrugged this off, didn't think it was a big deal. Well, guess what? Guess who liked this? Or guess who commented? Dillup Rao. Who remembers Dillup? Congrats, Craig. Hashtag CBDC. Question mark. Uh-oh. Yeah. You think Dillup knows? Because Dillup knows. Dillup knows more than me and you. He worked at Ripple for a very long time. He knows what's going on. He knows where the vision is going and where this is going to take us. And James Rule puts this out. XRP community, go figure. Nearly all the assets <clears throat> listed this year are ERC20 tokens on the Ethereum network. Why? Because they would be deemed sufficiently decentralized. This phase is taken from a, this phase is taken from a speech by William Hinman in June 2018. What are we seeing here, folks? More manipulation, more head scratching moves. But yet nothing is done. However, 
to yours truly. And what do I say? Just a small amount moved here. 780 million XRP. You got that right. You heard me correctly. 718 million XRP being moved, being shuffled around. Where is it going? No one knows. Where does it stop? Who knows? But we are seeing constant news about massive amounts of XRP on the move, getting pushed around, getting thrown around to unknown wallets. One day we're going to find out where all this was going and it's all going to click and put up a light bulb in our head and we're all going to have that ah moment. You know that moment I'm talking about. But listen, that's going to do it for me. It's about 930 over here down, well, down here in southwest Florida. I'm going to go lay down for a little bit. Been out all day with my brother. I'm going to go relax. Enjoy this Sunday night football game. We'll see if I go into work tomorrow. I'm pretty sure I'm going to take the rest of the week off. Look forward to a couple videos coming out tomorrow, plus one-on-one Patreon calls, plus some more massive DeFi opportunities you're going to need to keep your eyes out on for. Wash your damn hands. Be nice and be kind of with each other. Ripple Van Winkle is out.